Namaste and welcome to day one of my 30-day program, Kundalini Beginnings, 30 Days to Energetic Awakening. I'm very happy to see you've decided to join me on this program and I'm looking forward to share the whole experience with you. Uh, looking forward to hear about your experiences along the way. And as I said in the introductory class, if you have any questions along the way, please feel free to ask them. I, I realize that some of you are brand new to this path and I wanna make sure that everything's clear. I love teaching, so no question is a silly one. If you have any questions, I'm really happy to hear them. I'm really happy to make sure that you succeed on this path. So what I wanna bring into this program, aside from working with the different elements of Kundalini Yoga, like the, the Kriya, the Asana, Pranayama, and meditation, is we're also gonna bring in an element of ritual. Uh, don't be scary by the word ritual. We're not gonna be sacrificing any animals or anything. No, the, the word ritual, especially in this sense, refers to doing something the same every time. And why is that? There's this element of ritual, like the tea ceremony or breaking bread with the enemy, uh, that helps to put the reptilian part of the mind at ease. The reptilian mind's the most primal, the most like fight or flight, fear, making sure that everything's okay. And once we feel that everything's okay, then we can settle. We're gonna bring this element of ritual into the practice to signal to that part of the mind that it's okay. And what that does, especially in the yogic practice, in the spiritual practice, is it allows us to go deeper. We signal to that part of the mind that it's okay and we can open up, we can expand. So I wanna bring in this to this, uh, this program and you're gonna see as we repeat these specific things, which will happen at the beginning and end of the class, uh, day after day, is it's going to allow us to go that much deeper. It's going to make this program that much more transformational. Um, so what, what are we going to do specifically? We're going to open each class with a certain movement of the arms connected with the breath. And then we're going to chant the, the Guru Mantra. Guru Mantra is a, is a Sanskrit mantra, which is basically paying homage to the divine. Kind of offering the practice to the Guru, the, the teacher, the, the wisdom throughout the ages. Uh, and then we're going to close each class with a Shavasana, with some guided uh, music, and chanting Aum three times. Aum is the primordial sound, the vibration. Uh, and if you're not familiar with it or you don't really understand, you can think of it like uh, a beautiful massage for the nervous system. As we chant Aum, it gives this beautiful vibration and it can really help to seal the whole practice. Okay, so, and you will see by opening and closing the class in the same way we frame it, we put it in a bubble. And within that bubble, we're safe. We're safe to explore, to expand, to go into the depths of our being. And it's really going to make this month that much more transformational. Okay. I think that's all I have to say before we begin. As usual, if there's any questions, uh, leave them below and I'll try to answer them as we progress. And with that said, let's get ready to start with our day one practice. So find a comfortable seated position, whatever that means for you, uh, somewhere where you can sit nice and tall. So pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up, Roll the shoulders back and down so the heart is open and relaxed. Then I invite you to close the eyes, turn inside, take a deep inhalation through the nose. Then open the mouth inside out. And as you do, soften the body, soften the mind. Again, deep inhalation. Take in as much air as you can. Then open the mouth, sigh it out. Oh, and as you sigh, feel the vibrations of the sigh, giving that massage to the nervous system. One more time. This time we're going to hold the breath. Inhale. Take in as much air as you can. Sniff in a little more. Hold it. And really relax into this space. For three, two, one, sigh it out. Oh. Beautiful. Take a moment to notice where you are in your physical body, your energy, your mind, just to see where you are when we begin. And we can see what happens after. So 
So we're going to start by opening the class with the Guru Mantra. Uh, if you're familiar with it, you can chant along with me. I'll put the words on the screen. And if not, you can just sit and, and listen. So open your eyes if they're not open already, because this is the movement we're going to start with. We're going to inhale the arms up by the sides. Bring the hands together and exhale them to the heart. Once you're familiar with the, the mantra, you can keep the eyes closed for this. Take a deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And we begin. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwarha, Guru Saksha Parabrahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Beautiful, gently coming back. We're going to start by warming the spine now with Sufi Grind, which is a rotation to wake up the entire spinal column. Start by leaning forward, rotating towards the right, around back, left and forward. Inhale as you come forward, exhale as you round back. Try to make this circle as big as possible from the center of the chest, drawing as big a circle around the circumference of your hips as you can. Inhale as you come forward, really opening the chest. Exhale as you round back. Try to keep the chin parallel with the mat so you get the benefit of this rotation from the base of the spine all the way up into the neck. And I encourage you to close your eyes. Really try to turn your attention inward now and try to feel what's moving within you. Feel the rotation of the spine throughout each vertebrae, inhaling forward, exhaling back. And switch directions, opposite direction now, still inhaling forward, exhaling back. This Sufi grind is a beautiful practice for making sure that the spine stays flexible, mobile. There's actually a saying in Kundalini Yoga, is a healthy spine means a healthy mind. Because when our spine moves in a fluid, easy, comfortable manner, also our nervous system can move freely. You know, we, we can take our mobility for granted when we, don't, when we have it. But as soon as we don't have it, as soon as you've got that pain in the back, pain in the knees, life becomes a little more challenging and we wish we didn't have that pain anymore. Doing this every day can be a good way to assure that the spine stays nice and flexible. Almost there, inhaling forward, exhaling back. And take a deep inhalation, sit nice and tall, come to the center, sit up nice and straight, reach the crown of the head up. And exhale, relax. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling fine vibrations from the base of the spine up to the top of the head. The awakening of the nervous system. Arousal of the energy channels. And as we soften the nervous system, the mind starts to become more quiet. Beautiful. Gently coming back. Next, we're going to do some spinal flexes. So holding on to your shins between the knees and ankles. We're going to inhale forward and we're going to exhale back. Really rounding the spine. Inhale, send the spine forward. Exhale, rounding back. And just breathing forward and back. You can find your rhythm, find your pace. Inhale, opening the front body. Exhale, opening the back body. Again, keep the chin parallel with the floor. I encourage you to close the eyes and really try to bring awareness to what's happening inside your body. 
feeling this in the hips, in the abdomen, in the chest. Feel the air moving with each movement. Feel it all the way up into the throat. If you want to, you can go a little bit faster, a little more powerful breath, which we call sniff and throw breath, sort of sniffing the breath in, throwing it out. Take a deep inhalation, sit nice and tall. Take as much air as you can. And release. Relax. Sitting with the eyes closed, the tension inside. Again, feeling the activation along the spine. Massaging the nervous system. Waking up the energy channels. And creating a softness in the mind. Hmm, beautiful. Gently coming back. Next, we're going to perform the breath of fire. This is a very foundational breathing technique that we're going to be using through many of the days throughout this month. Uh, one thing I want to say is find your pace. With all of these practices, find your rhythm. You don't have to keep pace with me. You can always modify the practices. You can do them slower, faster, gentler, more powerful. Just make sure that it's comfortable for you. So the breath of fire is a fast breathing technique. All the breathing is done through the nose and essentially we're just doing non-stop breathing in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, let's begin. Deep inhalation, relaxing exhalation. We'll do this for one minute. Breath of fire through the nose. As you do this breathing, you can go more slow. You can go more fast. Find the rhythm that feels sort of like medium for you. The idea is no pause between the breath. Halfway through, 30 seconds remain. And take a deep inhalation, fill the lungs as much as possible, and hold the breath. And release and relax. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling fine vibrations throughout your being as we start to further awaken the energy within. Activating the cardiovascular system, purifying the nervous system. Beautiful, gently coming back. Now we're going to combine this practice with a position, with an asana. The asana is known as uh, Nabi Asana or the navel pose, sometimes in English called the boat pose. And sometimes this combination is called the stretch pose. We're only going to do it for 30 seconds uh, today. So come down to lying on your back. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift the shoulders off the mat. We're going to lift the legs, point the toes, spread the fingers. If you need to make it easier, you can lift the legs higher or you can bend the knees. The important idea here is that we've got the core engaged and we're going to do the breath of fire. So lay down for a second and then come into position. Take a deep inhalation, relaxing exhalation. Gaze to the toes and begin the breath of fire. Keep pointing through the toes, keep reaching through the fingers, keep gazing to the, with the eyes to the toes, keep breathing. If you need to take a break, you can take a break. Remember, always make the practice work for you.
Last 10 seconds. Hold the position, take a deep inhalation. Hold the breath and release. Relax, lying down, eyes closed, attention inside. Feel the energy moving through your body, radiating from the navel center outwards, creating heat, igniting that inner fire. Hmm, beautiful. Hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna rock forward and back, massaging the spine. And come up to sitting. Almost there, we've got two more practices in today's first class. The next one is called frogs. Uh, I love it, I know many of you love it, and some people find it a bit challenging. If you have knee issues, go slow or maybe skip this one. We're only gonna do a 26 but one minute. But what we're gonna do is we come from a squatting position with the hands on the floor in front of us. And we wanna squat in a way where our heels are lifted, the toes are down on the floor, and our fingers are on the floor in front of us. Okay, this is the frog position. From here, we're gonna inhale, straightening the legs, standing up, and we're gonna exhale down. Breath is through the nose. Okay, we're gonna do this 26 times. If 26 is too many for you today, do less, do 12, do 10, do whatever feels right for you. If you wanna do more than 26 in the time, go for it. So let's do it together. Uh, come to the position, the heels stay touching and off the floor the whole time. Standing nice and tall in the squatting position. And inhale to lift the legs, exhale down. One, again, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, halfway, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Take a deep inhalation. Hold the breath. And relax down to a comfortable sitting position. Eyes closed, attention inside. And feel the energy flowing through you. Activation of the legs, cardiovascular system, the heart and lungs. Frogs is a great practice for burning away any heavy stuck or stagnant energy. Really gets everything moving. I'm sure you can feel it right now. Hmm. Beautiful. Practice we're going to work on more throughout the program because... It's got this potential within it. The next practice we're gonna do, the final practice of today, other than the closing, is called Sat Kriya. Sat Kriya, we're gonna be in a kneeling position, sitting on the heels. If you need a block or cushion or something for support, make sure you take it. We're gonna interlace the fingers um, to increase masculine energy. The right thumb goes on top and the left little finger goes on the bottom. To increase feminine energy, the left thumb goes on top and the right little finger on bottom. And from here, we're gonna extend our index fingers, creating this sort of long shape. We're gonna have the arms straight up overhead. Make sure that we're really reaching up. Sometimes the arms have this tendency to go flappy or fall forward. We wanna stay as erect as possible. I'm not sure if my fingers are still in the shot, but just imagine I'm as straight as possible. And here we're gonna chant the mantra, Sat Nam. Sat Nam. This is a really common mantra in the Kundalini lineage. Uh, sat means truth. The 
absolute, the unchanging. And Nam means my name or I identify as. By chanting this mantra, we're identifying as the truth, the divine essence that resides within us. Uh, this can be taken very far to a beautiful tantric practice for recognizing the divine in everything around, because we are all creatures of God. Uh, and as we chant this, this is what it's bringing. Sat Nam. I am truth. I am truth. Which means I am truth. You are truth. This is truth. Uh, as we chant this and we say Sat, what we do is we pull the navel in really powerfully. Feel this explosion in the navel. Sat. And as we say Nam, we relax the belly. Sat. Nah, sup, nah. Okay, we're gonna do this for one minute. Then we're gonna inhale, exhale, relax, and we're gonna come down to final relaxation in Shavasana. Okay, so thank you for bearing with all of my talking. This is day one, so a little more talking than is gonna come in the following days. Uh, but I wanna make sure it's all clear. Okay, interlace the fingers, extend the index fingers, inhale the arms straight up overhead, relaxing exhalation. And we begin together. Sat Nam 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 Deep inhalation Hold the breath, reach up And exhale, lower the arms down Sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside Feel the energy moving within you Sense of expansion, increase in energy, an igniting of the inner fire. Hmm. Beautiful. Now we move to our final practice of the day, which is Shavasana. Shavasana means the, the corpse pose. Uh, this is the most important pose of the whole practice because it's where we seal the effects of the practice. So don't ever skip Shavasana. It's really the most, otherwise you go out of the class, energy all wiry all over the place. Really important, we ground with Shavasana every time. Okay, so come down to lying on the mat. Palms are facing up to the sky, nice open receptive body language. Feet are open to the sides. Take a deep inhalation, relaxing exhalation, and take this time for you now to soften and relax. Allow the body to become soft and heavy. Take this time for you to allow the energy to move, to settle. Take this time to completely let go.
Gently coming back to your body, preparing to reawaken with little movements of the toes and fingers, gentle rotations of the wrists and ankles, dropping the head from side to side to release the neck. When you're ready, take a deep inhalation, reach the arms overhead, big stretch. <clears throat> Exhale, hug the knees into the chest, rocking side to side to massage the spine. Then we're going to rock forward and back, massaging the spine, taking care to make sure the spine is nice and rounded, smooth. Rocks from the hips to the shoulders. And make your way up into a comfortable seated position. Sitting with the eyes closed, tension inside. Hmm. We'll close the class now by chanting three times Aum followed by Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Inhale the arms up by the sides. Palms together, exhale down through center to the heart. Inhale to chant. Aum. Again, inhale. Aum. Last one. Offering our gratitude for the practice together. Thank you for this energy. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this light. Take a deep inhalation. And as you exhale, gently coming back. So I can thank you so much for joining me for this day one video of Kundalini Beginnings. Hope you enjoyed the practice. Please let me know in the comment section below how it was for you because I love to hear from you. If there was any questions you have, please feel free to let me know. I'm happy to answer them. And with that said, I will close today's class by wishing you the most beautiful day. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.